2.4 Experimenting with Density In the last section, the volumes of all the fluids were held constant or the same, but the amount of matter or mass of the fluid changes depending on the fluid used. What will happen if we keep the mass of the substance approximately the same but change the volume? Is it still possible to determine the density of the substance? Eureka! The Mind of Archimedes Archimedes, who lived from 287 to 212 BCE, so those are negative years, was a Greek mathematician. He is famous for many inventions and mathematical discoveries, but he is probably most remembered for his bath. Legend has it that 2300 years ago, the king of Syracuse summoned his famous scientist and mathematician. The king suspected that his new crown was not made of pure gold as promised, but had some silver in it. He wanted Archimedes to find out, but without damaging the crown. While thinking hard about the problem, Archimedes decided to have a hot, relaxing bath. As he lowered himself into the tub, he noticed water overflowing its sides. At that instant, he realized he had solved the king's problem. The legend continues that in his absent-mindedness, Archimedes jumped out of the tub and ran naked down the street yelling, Eureka! Eureka! which is Greek for, I've got it, I've got it. What did Archimedes discover? When he saw the water overflowing the bathtub, he realized that his body was displacing the water. The volume of water he displaced was equal to the volume of his body. He could now test the king's crown in the same way to determine its volume. It is said that Archimedes fashioned a piece of pure gold and a piece of pure silver with the same mass as the king's new crown. He filled a large vessel to the brim with water and dropped the piece of silver in it. The volume of water that flowed over the rim was equal to the volume of the piece of the silver. He repeated this with the piece of gold and again with the king's crown, resulting in three volumes of water. What did Archimedes discover? The volume of water displaced by the crown was more than the volume of water displaced by pure gold and less than the volume of water displaced by pure silver. Not only did Archimedes discover that the king's crown was not made of pure gold, he also discovered the idea of density. Changing the volume, volume and displacement. When a substance is placed in a fluid, a curious thing happens. The volume of the fluid rises. Try it. Put an object that will sink into a container filled with water. Note how much the water level rises. This rise in volume takes place because the substance moves aside or displaces an amount of water equal to its volume. This method of measuring volume is called the displacement method. A variation of this method is to completely fill a container with water and measure the volume of the overflow when an object is placed into the water. The overflow volume is the same as the volume of the object. It is also possible to calculate the volume of regularly shaped ob objects. Recall what we have learned about the volume of rectangular prisms, right prisms, and triangular prisms. We have calculated these in math class. So grade 8, so we have done this and we were working on it um, before the break. So we have some questions here. They are very similar to the ones yesterday, so you do need to use that same formula. Density equals mass divided by volume. Um, and so each of these are going to ask you to calculate the density. Remember our grams is our mass, our milliliters is always going to be our volume. And so we have three questions like that. And the last one is to describe a situation where it is important to have an accurate measurement of a solid's volume. Okay? And so when would it be very, very important to know exactly how much volume is in a solid?